Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well. And this afternoon we're going to be taking a look at some old Matchbox again that I picked up from like a bric-a-brac type store. Sort of, I suppose you could call it an old junk shop, I suppose you could call it. But the guy there's got some interesting stuff in uh, old-fashioned toys, um, dinky toys, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, he had a really interesting box there of... Um, Corgi parts, um, I mean like brand new wheels, tyres, lights, people, bottoms of cars, tops, um, it's something I'm going to try and do a deal on if I can get it for the right price because it's a, not that I know a lot about Corgi but it's a Corgi sort of restorer's night, uh, dream come true really because there's so many bits there to restore Corgis and there's even some cars with it. Anyway, that's that's going to be for another video if I get it. But today we're going to be taking a look at, like I said, some old Matchbox. We'll just bring the camera down. So the first one I picked up, as you can see for a pound, is this. Uh, I do believe it is a, a mod, is it mod tractor, modded tractor. I don't know, something like that. I can't quite see it. But anyway, so it is this modded sort of hot rod tractor, drag tractor, I suppose. Which is pretty cool. It's got his seat missing. But other than that, it's in pretty good nick. It still rolls nice. Usually these have got really bent wheels. This doesn't have bent wheels, which is cool. Has all its engine. So I will look out for a seat for this. Uh, if I can find one. And then I'll just leave it as it is. Because it's 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 play worn. But I don't mind play worn. I, the only time I restore these things really. Or look to restore them. Is if they're really bashed about. Or bits missing. Um, because they're only original once. Uh, I like to, I do like restoring old Matchbox and doing wheel swaps, but if I can get away with leaving, I will. But anyway, we had that for a pound, and it is a 1972 copyright, so that's pretty cool. So, so that was the first one. So that is a. So we can see it again. It just says mod tractor. Anyway, so that's the first one. And then the second one I picked up was this Dodge Challenger in the yellow with the sort of rake look to it with the black wheels and all the different liveries, all the different logos. You've got Holly on the back and uh, D slash 174 Pro, etc, etc. And again, it's in pretty good nick. The glass is in not too bad a condition. The roof's in nice condition, which is there. Because sometimes these have either caved in or they're gone. This looks like something that was played with. And, and to be honest, it's got more damage from just being flung into a toy box by the looks of it. But again, this is one that I'll most likely leave alone. Unless I can replicate these stickers at some point, or these tampos, then, then I won't bother to restore it. But another one that's very cool. And again, drives nice. And it is Matchbox Super Fast Dodge Challenger 1975 copyright. But again, pretty cool. And that was 50p. So a good find for 50p. And the third one I picked up today is this Volvo. My phone's mucking around. There you go. Volvo with the Michelin man on the side. Volvo truck. And again, this one I'm not going to do much with. I'm just going to give this a wash, I think. Make sure it's 100% dry because... If you don't dry them properly, the axles rust. But again, it's not in too bad a condition. I don't know if this had a top. It looks like it had something that slotted into it at some point, like a canopy. But uh, other than that, it's not too bad a condition. Again, it rolls nice. And the wheels aren't in too bad a condition. And it says Matchbox 1984 copyright. Volvo. And it is in 190 scale, which is very small but again and this this one was two pounds so again not a lot of money pretty cool so that was what i picked up this morning and then a couple from the other day um which i didn't i forgot what well, to be honest i forgot to show them this interesting little um just says pro form i do believe it is a sprint racer 1990 copyright but uh, very cool. This does remove. Has a little arrow there, so I presume it goes on like that. It could go on the other way around, but 
doesn't really bother me. But again, not in too bad a condition. And again, it rolls still quite nice. I may do something with this. I may just re-chrome it. I don't know, because like I said, I, I like to restore them, but at the same time, um, you know, it's also nice just to leave them. If they're not too bad a condition, then, then just, just leave them alone. But uh, something a bit different. So that was from the other day. And again, I think I paid, um, I think this was from the 50 50p par. Because when you go to a shop, he's got these racks and he's got all the 50p cars in the racks. And then he's got some for a pound and he's got some for two pound and, and so on and so on. As, as obviously the condition gets better. Uh, like this one here. Um, I have one of these. Um, I think this is a Tojo. Yeah, Tojo. Um, but mine has no windscreen and the booms are gone. Um, this was three pound and it's in pretty good shape. It has its window. It's got a bit of sticker residue there because I had the sticker saying three pounds on there, which I've got to clean off. And again, I'll just give it a clean up and try and find a replacement hook. But again, it's 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 pretty much all there. The wheels are in nice condition, as you can see, and it rolls quite nice. And this is not such a desirable casting for me. I, I mainly just took this because I just sort of felt sorry if it just sat on the shelf. But like I said, what sometimes when you find these, they have the glass missing and the and the boons missing. But again, pretty cool. So anyway, again, not a very long video today. Just some of the local finds that I'm finding at the minute. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. It's, it's actually quite cool when you come across old diecast. It's nice to find them really mint stuff, especially if you can find it quite cheap. I've had a few lucky scores lately. Um, I've possibly there's a guy that was selling um some matchbox a great big matchbox haul um and when i managed to find that he was selling them he'd sold most of it um but he's got some renault fives and some citrons that are still blistered and i've secured a gray renault with a black wheel variation uh, super fast um which i'm think i'm going to be hopefully getting tomorrow so We'll see about that. But anyway, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned because I will be doing, I will, I, I might, I may do it this evening. I'll most probably do it this evening. I am going to announce the giveaway at some point. Um, I've just been trying to get all the cars together for it. And obviously I've got some more Tomica coming. But anyway, I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching.